Hello, I'm Mike Vrobel from DadCooksDinner.com, and this is my new Instant Pot Plus. Unboxing video. Oops, that's, uh, just don't cut myself during the unboxing. That would be bad. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, Duo Plus. What a fancy new box. Quick reference guide, Instant Pot recipe booklet, and the user manual. Well, this looks much fancier than the old one did. Styrofoam. Da, da, da. The pot itself. Ooh, what does this say? Warning! Hot steam from release valve can burn. Be careful. Not that I burn myself all that often. Our usual lid. Rice cup which I never use. Rice scoop, which I also never use. Rice paddle, ditto. And the important thing, drain that slides on back here. Please pay safety attention to all warning labels before removing from a cooker. Certain foods should not be cooked under pressure. Right. Cardboard, ooh, fancy new flippy rack. The new inner pot. Having an actual pressure cooker max number. Can you see that? See the max two third, one third? Or I'm sorry, two thirds, one half? I can't read it upside down backwards. That two thirds line is going to be very useful. I tended to overfill my pot, which is bad. More warnings. Heating element must be free from grease. Power cable. This looks a little shorter than what I expected. More warnings. Spilled food can cause serious burns. <gasps> Are we live? Yes. I still have our handy lid holder. My favorite thing. My pressure cooker had the old style bracket. Hold on while I grab it out of my cabinet. My old duo had the old style blocker to protect both the valves. They replaced that in the new one with a smaller blocker. Okay, what do we see on the front here? Saute, slow cook, egg, cake, beans or chili, meat stew, soup broth, rice, multigrain porridge, steam, sterilized, yogurt. <gasps> they changed manual to pressure cook. Yes! Finally. So, if I want to pressure cook, ooh, bright colors. 2, 3, 16, 15, whoop, wait. I need my water first. Measuring cup. Time for two cups of water for the pressure test. Still locks like the old one. Make sure the valve's in the right spot. Pressure cook. And, uh, let's say five minutes. And... Wait for it. There we go. All right, let's see how this guy does. So I just figured out, I've been doing the audio with the dishwasher running right behind the camera and the microphone the whole time. I'm an idiot. Ooh, it's hissing, it's hissing. I think this is a good sign. And there we go, five minutes. Okay, let's quick release that pressure. The other question I got asked was what about the pot size? Is it the same as the old one? Can you buy one of the new pots with the nice two-thirds line and use it in place of one of the old pots? Ooh, which needs a little cleaning. I need to get on the kids about cleaning stuff a little bit. They look like they're about the same. Huh. Yep, looks like 
looks like it's exactly the same size to me. New pot with the old lid. Old pot with the old lid. We have exactly the same size. So if you want to buy some of the new pots with a nice two-third marking, they will fit just fine in your old Instant Pot. So there you have it. One new Instant Pot plus. This has been Mike Frobel from DadCooksDinner.com. Thanks for watching. Locked and loaded. Oh, is it recording? It's recording. Yikes. This is my handy dandy remote view of everything you're seeing on the screen so I can keep an eye on it from far away. I love my Panasonics.